In 2001, I became an English teacher and I loved it. And I think what I loved the most was feeling constantly inspired and amused by teenagers. But beyond this, I really enjoyed helping young people to feel connected to the world around them and their futures in it. Let's fast forward to 2018. Our schools are nowhere near as inspiring places for teachers or for students. Demands in education policy mean that schools are having to focus much more now on exam results than they are on nurturing happy children. And school has become more about competition and stress than it has about emotional well-being. Additional pressures felt by some, teach some teenagers from social media and the harm to well-being that's being caused by the amount of time spent online are contributing to what some are calling a mental health crisis in our schools. Rates of anxiety and depression among young people have risen by 70% in the last 25 years. Beyond this, we are living in rapidly changing global environments with very uncertain futures, and so it feels more important than ever that we're equipping young people with the life skills they need for adaptability. Yet because our schools are so squeezed, teachers often just don't have the capacity to do this. For myself, after 12 years of teaching, I felt unable to carry on working in a system that seemed to hurt as much as help young people and was, feeling me, was leaving me feeling demoralised, frustrated and uncertain about what my role was rather than inspired. Yet I loved teaching and I didn't just want to walk away. And so instead I made the decision to step aside for a few years and start to find something that I could believe in, something that could possibly make a difference to some of the issues I was seeing developing in our schools. And I came up with Thoughtbox. Thoughtbox is a programme for schools to help children to feel more connected to the world through the simple act of conversation. It's really easy to use. We offer schools an online curriculum for teachers to download and to use themselves. It slots straight into timetabled lessons and it ticks two of the key Ofsted requirements. So it's ticking some of those boxes for inspections. Each of our 12 modules helps teachers to facilitate discussions on a range of global issues from immigration and refugees to homelessness, climate change, waste, and helps children to start to connect the dots on their learning. Our topics help students to make connections to themselves and their own sense of cultural identity, to the society around them and to the natural world, and helps to develop key skills of critical thinking, empathy and unlearning, which are vital skills for adaptability and well-being in the future. This curriculum is now reaching schools uh, at 30,000 students in schools across the world and it's engaging students from the UK to Tanzania to South Africa and Germany, all of whom are starting to feel more connected to their futures. We've now expanded the programmes to work more holistically with local schools to offer whole school support. This includes a teacher training programme, which is a, supports teachers to facilitate discussions on a range of difficult, quite controversial global issues and feel confident in holding space for these discussions. We have our curriculum in a box, which I've mentioned. We have a range of workshops and talks to help students to go more in depth in some of these global issues. And we have a network of inspired practitioners called New Generation Thinkers, people who are working in businesses to support more positive social change. So it might sound like this is all going really well, but we need some help. We're trying to bring community more into our work. A school lies at the heart of every community, but not many communities feel at the heart of their schools. And so we'd like to change the approach and welcome you, Thoughtbox patrons, into what's happening in your local area. As part of this, we're hosting events in schools to bring all of our connected programmes together and to bring some community members uh, and local practitioners into those schools. We call this the Big Think, and we're having our first event in King Edward School in Totnes in September. The goal of this event is to bring all these programmes together through active student engagement to showcase the work that we're doing and to help schools to see the impact of connected learning. But we need your help, as I mentioned, and we're asking for support from the local community to get involved and sponsor a school. Many of our schools that we work with have had their budgets cut for these sorts of enrichment programmes and teachers are wanting these programmes but are simply not able often to afford them with their budgets. We have a 97% conversion rate with every head teacher or school leader that we've met with and so we know that these programmes are wanted and we know that they work and yet teachers just don't have the capacity in some cases to be able to fund them. 
So we turn to you, our community members, and we invite you to become Thoughtbox patrons to offer your support, whether that's financial or otherwise, to your local school to allow Thoughtbox to be working with your community and to support young people in feeling more connected, more compassionate and more inspired by the futures that they're moving into. Please get in touch and share any ideas that you have for supporting and getting involved. Visit www.thoughtboxeducation.com. Thank you.